Hey everyone, Bill and I are going on an adventure. We have the van all packed up and we're about to hit the road, saying goodbye to Bogan for a few days. Most of you may not see this face very often on this channel, but Amanda and I have been traveling together since November last year, full time, besides when I've been out of the country. Um, and we have been in West Virginia. For about a month and a half now? Yeah, getting close to two months. And it's hot. It's real hot. It's humid. Well, thanks to one of Amanda's all time good friends getting married, recently in North Carolina, we had a little bit of a trip. So we packed up the van, we left Bogan bus behind, we hit the road, and our first stop was in Fayetteville, West Virginia, where we went and stalked our good friend Shelby from New Moon Ventures. She was working there for a bit and we weren't really sure where she was in town, so we drove around asking people about her and eventually we found her. So we found Shelby. We found Earl. We're gonna go surprise her. We found it! <laughs> nailed it. We pretty much nailed it. So that was really exciting. After that, we continued our trip down towards Charlotte, North Carolina. Guys, I came. I bought a jean skirt. Haven't worn one since I'm about 12. And it's weird. And we are in. That we are smells. in. It does smell like smells. shit. Where, yeah. where is this smelly place? I don't know. <laughs> Charlotte, I think. Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. Bill just crossed off two new states. Which was really awesome to see my friend of 25 years get married and be able to spend the weekend with all of my close friends from WVU. But as van and bus lifers, we both agreed that we scrubbed up pretty good, especially considering we got ready just before the wedding in the van, in the parking lot of the wedding venue. Nailed it. We nailed it. Prior to that, when we got to North Carolina, we realized it was going to feel like over 100 degrees with the humidity. And originally I was wearing a black pants outfit. So yeah, that didn't work out. And two hours before the wedding, Phil and I were running through the mall trying to find a dress. So I didn't die, in which I still got really sick from the heat. And I almost threw up on grandpa, but I did it. So that's really good. Always good when you don't throw up on someone. Yeah. So that was really good, but it was really fun to see everybody, to connect with old friends. And then from there, we were able to connect and make some new friends. So we met up with a guy named Jarrett, who him and his wife are building a shuttle bus and will hopefully be seen on the road soon. And Groovy Spaceship, a couple that have just gotten on the road in their van these past couple weeks. Um, awesome, hung out with them. We went swimming with them at the lake. Phil got to play on a rope swing. We did a cookout in their backyard. After the cookout, the way everything in the universe aligned, a friend that we had met in San Diego named Jude, she so happened to be about an hour and 45 minutes away from where we were in Durham, North Carolina. She got a hotel for the night and she had Durham. off... Durham. Durham. Durham, North Carolina. She got a hotel for the night and she invited us to crash with her. Once again, a huge shout out to Jude for the hotel room. We definitely needed it. It was so hot here and the universe provided and linked us up with her again here in North Carolina. So we're really grateful for that. Plus, well, you can't stay in a hotel without jumping out of bed. Phil's been yelling at me. Her jumping out of the beds. So I got punished and she shut the air conditioner off. Of He's just bitter because in Vegas he hit his head when he jumped on the bed. Which was really awesome. She's been 
following our journey since it literally started. She had met us about a month after we had met each other. So it's really cool to see somebody who's genuinely following along all of our adventures and we had so much to talk about because she was so much in the loop. So that was really fun and exciting to sleep in a hotel. That was nice. And jump on the bed. Air conditioning. Air condition, showering. Yeah. You gotta shower in the bath. But it's not long like a hotel showers. long shower yeah. and hot, hot water. We got hot water. But it was great. Nothing's like getting a hotel for the night mm -hmm. for free. So thank you, Jude, for that. You are a rock star. We love you. <laughs> so after we left Jude in Durham, 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 Durham. Here we go again. Words are hard. We Bye. went back north and we met back up with Shelby, and we went to Summersville Lake and hiked around a little bit in Fayetteville. These are really pretty. Yeah, when they're. Hold on. They're just starting to bloom. They're so pink. Look at that. They're more the citrus. No, these are rhododendron. Oh, that was whatever that was was giant. Rhododendron. It was absolutely beautiful there. I would probably say one of the prettiest lakes I've been on in a really long time. What are your thoughts? It was good. We took pontoon out. Okay. I'll drink VB when there's no more calm and dry left. Yeah. But in Australia, you're either one or the other. You're either in calm and dry. We went on the boat, so that was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I surfed a tube. That and hurt. We got yeah. rope burn. I don't know if you can see, I got some pretty gnarly rope burn across my shoulder because I got a little cocky trying to stand up on a tube behind a pontoon boat. Yeah, so it busted his ass. But I got to go tubing for the first time. So that was really cool. Shelby and I were holding on for dear life. We for sure thought we were getting tossed. I for sure thought I was gonna get hurt like white water rafting, but I made it. No marks. After we left Shelby, which was really sad. We didn't want to leave her again. If you hadn't watched our nomadic family video, I'll put the link in the description below. That's how we had met Shelby. And that's how we met everybody. And it's probably just smart to catch up because we'll, we'll reference people from our nomadic family probably indefinitely always moving forward. Yeah. So go watch that video. And yeah, now we're back in West Virginia where it's hot. It's like a sweaty ball sack here. And yeah, we're trying to figure out our next move. Should we stay? Should we leave? I don't know. Keep watching to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye.